George, how difficult has it been the last couple of days after losing at the weekend? Of course, everyone is, is disappointed and of course, when you lose a game, you're not really happy. But uh, we're always looking at a positive way of things and uh, that's how we we'll go tomorrow, play our game, just the positive way and trying to win the win the game tomorrow. The manager wasn't very happy with some of the, the stick he was taking from, from some of the supporters. The supporters have a right to have a go at the players when things aren't going well. I don't care. But, uh, you know, first of all, when you lose a game, we are unhappy and of course supporters can't be unhappy. Uh, but now if uh, they say bad things or good things or you write bad things or you write good things for me personally I really don't don't care I just stay focused in my game and playing my game because I love it nothing else do you think in some ways George you guys are maybe victims of your own success this season you've done so well obviously in, in, in the Champions League and fans obviously expect that uh, and better in the SPL I really don't see the problem because uh, we have our own game against Spartak to go in round of 16 in Champions League. And we are in semi-finals in the cup. We forced an SPL and Saturday we play for Scottish Cup game. I don't see what is the problem, what else we can do. I suppose it's just unusual to see Celtic at this stage of the season to have dropped so many points. I mean, seven of the 14 matches you have dropped points. You're not as consistent in the league as you have been in past years. Uh, everyone knows that it's a tough, tough period. It's a lot of games. We're playing a weekend, we're playing midweek. Uh, but still, I don't really see the problem because we're forcing the league one game before going the next round in Champions League. And we're in the Cups as well. Uh, are you surprised that, that you're still top of the league, given the points that have been dropped? Are you surprised that no one has gathered enough points to, to be able to top all you? We are the best team in, in the country, and everybody knows that. We proved it last year, and we're going to prove it this year as well. Would, would you, it's interesting listening to you today there say, obviously you're on the verge of the last 16 for the Champions League, you've you're in the cups. You're you're still top of the league. Um, would you m your message be to the fans just just to be patient, or, or or would it be stronger than that? Would it would it actually be look at how actually how well we're doing? We, we, we I'm not saying doing really well. I know that we have the up and downs, and that's normal because it's a really tough program for us all this period, the last three months. The what I'm saying is, me personal, I always see the positive things, and. That's the reason I'm talking about the positive. Of course, there are negative things as well, but I try to put it on the side and think about the positives. That is easier for me, for everyone, to walk to the path and walk in the way, you know? That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that anything else. The manager says, likely to see the best of Celtic after the new year, and the fixtures calm down a little bit. Do you agree with that? I really don't know. The, uh, the only thing I can say it's we need to to start have a, a good run, a winning run, like we had last year. And I think it was uh, in that period that we had like 20 games uh, in a row unbeaten. And I think it's a good time now to to go and have a run and to open the gap from the other teams. When you're at home, do you sense that the fans expect the game to, to be won easily? I said, I said that before that when I play my game, I really don't care what's going on around me. I try to stay focused, how to perform well and win the games. Um, but of course, we know when you play in a really big club like Celtic, that people and the supporters want to win every game, and we're trying to do that this year. Uh, we still have the the, the winning mentality that we had last year and it's just a matter of time to happen again. George, how difficult is it when you play Barcelona at home, great atmosphere, 
massive game to then play an SPL match where the atmosphere maybe at Celtic Park isn't as good as the Champions League? Yeah, uh, it's a good question. It's not the easiest thing, but um, nothing compares with Champions League night at Celtic Park. And what we need to do is like, uh, we need to be more focused and we need to be um, more concentrated to, to the game and be uh, ready um, to turn this around, like from, from Champions League to SPL, because uh, it's a totally different game. Uh, we know in SPL is more physical and um, it's more runs, the ball in the channels, and then James Link is more passing game, and we need to to figure to figure out and start balance the the whole situation. Is there a fear that that you won't be able to turn it around while while you're still in Europe? We're trying, but you you don't you don't think that it's it's is it is it is it, is it, is it possible to balance the two? What will it's, it be? It's my one game. Now you know we already play five games Champions Link and just one game. Now hopefully everything will go well Wednesday and then uh, we'll have more time to think about uh, spill. The manager gathered you together, Georges, um, before training today. I don't I don't know if that's something that, that is normally the case. Was it a kind of sort of rallying call from him to say, "Come on, guys, let's let's start again, fresh from here." Only today. Yeah, yeah. It's happening every day. Yeah, okay. It's nothing. It's happening every day, and maybe you're not here every day, but it's happening every day.